Welcome to Continental Products Test Center. My name is John Callahan. We manufacture the Rolla Mixer, rotary drum batch mixer for hundreds of applications across 20 some industries worldwide. I'd like to just introduce you to where it all starts today, which is the test center. Typically people have a product they want to blend or coat. They want to test our machine before they would buy a production unit. So we test here in our five and 10 and three and a half cubic foot machines and then scale up to production units. It all really starts with a sample of your product and the density of your product. We need to know the density of your product in pounds per cubic foot because in each machine they, they take five cubic feet or three cubic feet or a hundred cubic feet or a thousand cubic feet. And the poor density of your product is key to understanding what the batch size and weight will be. So we're gonna show you how to figure out your own density to start right now. Once you send your sample to us, what we're gonna do, and this is something you can do at, at your facility too, is pour your sample into a one cup jar and get the weight in grams. So we have 241 grams, and then we will multiply by 0.2463, and we'll have your density in pounds per cubic foot. So this is 59.3 pounds per cubic foot. And that, that, that calculation is something you can find on the screen there too. If it's 59 pounds per cubic foot, we know that this five cubic foot mark seven will hold five cubic feet or around 300 pounds of product. Five cubic feet in a five cubic foot machine is full at shaft center. So we're full, we're only using this as the working load volume. Up above, we're gonna use the northern hemisphere of the drum for the folding, mixing, and dividing. The key to mixing, folding, mixing, dividing. And we're doing that in one revolution, we're doing that 25 times. So in a matter of a few revolutions, we are completely uniform in a small amount of time. But you can see how the sample density and weight of the density is key to how we size up a Rolla mixer. So in a five cubic foot machine, we could, stuff, we could put stuff that's 50 pounds per cubic foot. We could put 250 pounds in it. In a 10 cubic foot machine, we could put 500 pounds in it and so on. But it all starts with the density. So once we know the density, we'll know which machine we're, we're working with. We work with a lot of different powders and samples and granules and flowables. So each one has different flow characteristics. Each one behaves differently. Each one's sensitive to certain things. So once we understand your, your product and what you're trying to do with it, we'll, we'll decide what the best machine is to optimize your end result. Homogenize large lots of plastic pellets or to blend building products, floor tile cubes, fluoropolymers, a lot of those kind of uh, granule pieces, we'd likely put you in a Mark 7. Mark 7s are made in over 100 sizes. This is the smallest machine we make. The largest Mark 7 we make is 1,286 cubic feet. So you can see the scale up is great. But the Mark 7 is predominantly used for blending and coating larger particle size pieces, uh, plastics, fluoropolymers, building products, EPDM, and so on. Moving into the Mark 7-1, if you're looking to coat powders, granules, and we know that the, the flowability is such that it's better in a Mark 7-1, we might use this machine, where again, we're full at shaft center, which is full here. We wouldn't use the whole drum for the fill product. But up in here, you can see we have, in our test mixers, a great ability to see your product being made with some visibility. We have windows in our machines, so you can see it being made. You can watch chemical reactions take place. And up here is our liquid spray port, where we spray liquids down onto the product. And you'll see in a free-falling curtain right here, a liquid going right onto the product. And that's the intimate exposing the surface area and adding liquids right onto the product. What it's ideal for is agricultural chemicals, livestock premixes, vitamin powders, coating powders, coating granules, gourmet tea, kitty litter. A lot of the kitty litter in the world is made in Mark 71 Rolla mixers and so on. A lot of everyday products are made in these machines. It's probably our most versatile Rolla mixer. We move over to another Mark 71, a little different configuration. We don't have a, this one's seen without the, the load-in hopper up top. Those can be made many different ways. That one has a vent on it. And this one is 10 cubic feet as well. Here we are with a discharge chute extension. These can be made longer, shorter to accommodate whatever your production holds. And again, here's our inspection door where we can see what we're doing. This is a production door, but usually we'll have a Lexan window on there so you can watch the product be made. It's great for testing, great for tendencies, great to see how things are forming. Right here's our spray lance, and we spray liquids right down onto the product in free fall. That's where free fall processing happens. And free fall processing happens in the Mark 6, 7, and 7-1. Seven, 
where we have a cascading free falling curtain of product down to receive liquids intimately and exactly on the product as we expose the service area. We have done tests with hundreds of products this way and we've never really met uh, any one of our customers who told us they've found it done a better way. So it's an excellent thing to evaluate if you're looking to put powders onto granules or liquids onto powders or granules. Moving over to the Mark 8 machine. The Mark 8 was made for the food industry where they're blending 80 ingredients of dietary supplements, nutraceuticals. Um, we also use the Mark 8 for refractory powders. Talk about density. Some of the stuff we blend in the Mark 8 is 300 pounds per cubic foot. So if we put three cubic foot in here, we got you know, 900 pounds in a batch. So that's the importance of density there. Um, but the Mark 8 is superior to V and cone blenders in its uniformity, quicker. It's superior in clean out. It's much better than a ribbon or a paddle machine for typically used dietary supplements, nutraceuticals, all those powders. Test your powders in our machine and we'll show you a better result. And we look forward to having you to, to see that because that's the kind of stuff that we do. A lot of people will test and say, look, we've always done this in a ribbon or a paddle mixer. And they put in one of our machines and it's a night and day difference. Far more consistent, uniform result. Then we got into coating slow release fertilizers and spraying liquids and hardeners that were difficult to spray. Um, the Mark 9s were born as a batch coater. We can mix in them, we can coat in them, but it allows us a little more forgiving internals for adding resins, hardeners, um, all kinds of difficult to spray liquids. A lot of times we'll be heating up liquids to a certain Fahrenheit so it'll spray at the right centipoid like water. And that's what we do in the Mark 9. You've got a spray lance here, or a spray port here, where we've got a long spray lance that's spraying liquid onto the rolling bed of product. And you can see that in this video right here, what it looks like inside. It's a little smaller Mark 9 over here. Some people want to send half as much product to test, or this is the amount they want to test in. Again, we're full, a little bit less than shaft center in a Mark 9. We're gonna load in here. Some Mark 9s are loaded in on the side, as you can see over there. Again, our inspection door, our injector port, and our ability to add liquids onto the rolling bed of material. We use this small Mark 9 slash 10 mixer for blending snack blends and nut blends that are very friable. We've been doing a lot of dehydrated fruits and snack blends and trail mixes with 10 different ingredients, very friable nuts and stuff. Um, and we use this machine to test it out, very similar in its competency, but um, very gentle and very much a, a Mark 10 test mixer as well. These are our test mixers, and these are all available for testing anytime you'd like to send your product to us. Again, it starts with density in a sample so that we know exactly how much the machine will see. Everything's different, everything flows differently, so it's important to know that. And once we get your product, you're welcome to come here and test with us, um, and we'll make samples at different intervals and show you how we do compared to what you do now. We invite you to come and test our products. We've never been told that ribbons or paddles make better products than ours. I know a lot of people have ribbons and paddle mixers. We'd like you to come on in and, and see the difference. Um, send us your products, send us your samples. My brothers, Bill, Tom, Coyne, and Jim will all be here to help make your product the best it can be. Thanks for checking it out.